So for takedown today, we're taking part one of these uh, scanner type uh, disco light modules. This one doesn't use a single mirror. This one uses one of those barrel mirrors, and it has uh, two stepper motors. One inside the barrel. If it will focus, that uh, turns the barrel, and then another one which turns the entire unit. Now when I got this it was described as just not going on so maybe it's a bulb issue or something. Oh well, it's going to be fun to open it. So on the back of this unit we have a power connector, a power switch, DMX 3 pin, DMX input, output and the standard four seven segment displays with four buttons on the button it has a mic apparently the it has just a normal barrel type of mirror with a bunch of uh, mirrors uh, glued in a cylindrical form with a stepper motor on the inside and probably another stepper motor there to control the to uh, make it pan like that here it has a little focus, just a standard lens that you can turn to focus. On the inside it has a massive toroidal transformer. Um, this is a 24 volt transformer that powers the light that's now missing and that probably also powers the rest of the electronics. On the inside there is a color wheel, uh, sorry, a gobo wheel with uh, colored gobos. St all these gobos are static, so yeah, they, they only move into a single um, place, and yeah, it doesn't turn like on some of the moving heads. And on the back it has a, sorry, on the front it has a lamp cover where you can just remove that to replace the lamp but uh, that's a bit boring and it just has a bracket like this and that's pretty much it here's a, a shot of a sticker if that means anything to you so this is what happens when I plug it in So the only thing that I think is wrong with this unit is that the bulb is not working. This is a 24 volt, 250 watt bulb, not the standard uh, 12 volt bulbs, but uh, I'm going to try and replace it with uh, maybe an LED bulb or something because these don't seem to be that expensive. Let's make sure, I'm just going to make sure that the thing actually gets power. Yes, uh, the power supply is definitely working, so it's just a bulb issue. Okay, so this is a 12 volt bulb powered from an external supply. Now I want to see what would happen if I were to connect the 24 volt supply that the old bulb used. Maybe the bulb will blow, blow or something. I know it will shine a lot brighter. Let's see. Ok, 
Okay, so that's what happens. So now I'm just going to test it with one of these uh, 10 watt LED chips to see if that would actually be a viable alternative. So I finally found a replacement bulb for this light unit so I can remove my uh, DIY downlight idea. Um, as you've seen in the videos, the downlight isn't bright enough. This is just a 4 or 5 watt uh, LED downlight, but uh, the 50 watt ones weren't bright enough to light this thing properly. So I finally found a replacement for this uh, 24 volt 250 watt light that also do looks like a down lighter. It is uh, the quartz line lamp from uh, General Electric made in the USA for those of you who care. And it looks like this. So basically I'll just connect it and then plug it in. And that should be everything. It's plugged into the lighting desk. Feed it some DMX. Okay, uh, it appears to be burning. Okay, so channel one selects the gobos. From open. Channel two. Um, I think they call it pan or something. I'm actually not sure. Because uh, channel 3 is roll, channel 2, and channel 4 sets it to some mode. And it only uses uh, 4 channels. Okay. With a fader one at zero, it is a blank. Then first is open. Then it's a ar pink arrow. Blue hand. Recycling thing. A star thing. I don't know what that is. I also don't know what you call that. And then any value above 60 um, on channel on the first channel, I'll just oscillates between the gobos. I'll just say it's automatic. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos like this please subscribe.